Hey guys, welcome to All Electronics, I'm Gregory and this is the video series where we're gonna measure and characterize a VHF radio frequency amplifier. This is part one where we're gonna measure and plot the gain versus frequency of the amplifier. Let's go! One of the basic parameters of a radio frequency amplifier is the gain. And we need to plot and verify the gain over frequency because the gain will change with frequency and this is a radio frequency parameter that we name S21 and it represents the power at the output of a device by an incoming power in the input. For a radio frequency amplifier, the S21 parameter is the gain of the amplifier over frequency. We have many ways to measure S21 parameter or the gain versus frequency and we can measure it with a VNA, a vector network analyzer, a spectral analyzer with tracking generator, and today we're gonna measure it using a signal generator, and we're gonna manually sweep the signal generator to see the gain of the amplifier over different points in frequency. Here we can see that I sweep at the frequency at the input of the amplifier from 10 meg to 350 meg, and I plotted the gain over frequency. Here we have gain in dB, from 15 dB to 0 dB, and we can see here at 350 meg the transition to 0 dB where the amplifier did not present gain anymore. We're gonna measure the gain over frequency or the S21 parameter of this amplifier here with a manual sweep because not everybody that have a spectral analyzer with tracking generator. The basic setup is to connect a signal generator at the input of the amplifier and the output of the amplifier directly to the spectrum analyzer. First, let's configure the signal generator to the first frequency point, here 10 meg, and the amplitude level to minus 25 dB. I choose this input level here because in first tests I saw that this input level will not compress the output of the amplifier. It's better to use a lower value here to reduce the chance of nonlinear distortion. We can see that we already have power at the output of the amplifier. The first thing we're gonna do is center the frequency to the 10 meg signal we are inputting on the amplifier. And we can see here the output. Let's change this pan. And let's increase the frequency resolution. Here we can see the tone of the signal generator amplified by the radio frequency amplifier. We can measure the gain at this frequency here, 10 meg, by placing a peak marker here, taking the output power, negative 9 dBm, and manually compute the gain from the input negative 25 dBm. As you're gonna sweep the frequency to a lot of points to measure the gain over frequency, we can use a trick here on the spectrum analyzer to simplify the operation. We can enter the amplitude control and change the reference offset. And we can put here on the reference offset the input power we are injecting on the amplifier. In this way, the spectral analyzer will automatically calculate the gain for us because the reference now will be the input power and not 0 dB. The reference level needs to be 25 positive dB. Now if we see the peak amplitude, we're gonna see the 16 dBm of output power. As this measure here have 25 subtracted this is the gain of the amplifier. So let's annotate this and let's go to the next point. The next point we're gonna measure at 50 meg. And back to the spectrum analyzer, we need to go to a center frequency of 50 meg. Let's get the peak and we have now the gain at 50 meg, 12 dB. The gain is decreasing, let's go. Center frequency to 100 meg. The peak here is 9.5 dB, so the gain 9.5 dB. Here on the video I skipped all the other points and we can see that at the end of our measure, at 350 meg, 
we have zero dB of gain. So here in this point, the amplifier is not providing us any gain in this frequency. So here is the end of our measure. Now that we sweeped all the frequencies of interest here, we can plot the gain versus frequency. Very nice, guys. And this curve here is also the S21 parameter because it's the curve that relates the output power from an input power on the amplifier. It's important to note and to learn that when we measure amplifiers, the two port is the output and the one port is the input. And this is why we have here S21 because it's the power that arrives on port 2 from port 1. As this is an amplifier, the S21 parameter will be higher than zero because we have gain, we have active gain. It's an amplifier and the S21 parameter for an amplifier is positive. If we had here an attenuator, the S21 parameter, the power at port 2 from port 1 would be negative because it would be an attenuation. I connected the tracking generator to the amplifier only so we can see that the data we get is okay and it's right. Here we can see exactly the curve we predicted from our measures. Now the spectrum analyzer is sweeping the tracking generator as the curves advance here in frequency. So we are generating a signal exactly at the frequency at which the spectrum analyzer is receiving at the moment of the sweep. So this way a tracking generator is used to plot the S21 parameter. We sweep the frequency of the tracking generator, synchronize it with the receiving frequency of the spectrum analyzer. And we can see here that you have exactly, let's get here the notebook, we can see that we have exactly the same curve here. Pretty nice. So guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please subscribe to the channel, give a thumbs up, send to your friends and see you in the next video.